In this video we are going to check how do we perform a DQ operation on a queue and its possible implementation scenario. So what is DQing? Well, DQing removes an element from the queue. And from which end does DQ removes that element? Well, from the front end. And the notation for DQing is you just have a function which is called DQ and it usually returns the value that has been removed from the queue. So let us see a possible implementation scenario for a DQ operation. So this is an array visualization of a queue and as discussed in the last video we have two pointers one is front and one is back. Front points to the front of the queue that is the first element and back points to the end of the queue that is the last element. Now there is nothing in the queue so front and back are storing the values minus one. That means the queue is empty. Now let us fill in some values in this queue and then dequeue it. So now we have four elements in this queue. The front is pointing to the first element that means front store zero and the back is pointing to the last element the index of which is three. Now for dequeuing you always delete the element which is in the front of the queue. So here we would be concerned only with the front pointer. So let us dequeue an element. So the first step is to remove the value from the front. Now once the value is removed you need to increment the front pointer because once you remove the value the front pointer is pointing to something that does not exist. So it needs to point to the front of the queue. So the next element is basically the front of the queue now. Let us do this again. You first remove the value from the front and then you increment the front pointer to point to the next element which is now the front element of the queue. Now in typical implementations the value that has been removed from the front of the queue is returned to whoever called that function. Okay so that was a possible implementation scenario of a queue. Now there might be a point when a queue will be empty and you won't be able to delete anything from the queue. So such a scenario is called as obviously queue empty. Now what is the condition for the queue to be empty? Well, we know that there are no elements, but how do you determine if there are no elements? So there could be two conditions when the queue might be empty. The first one is the queue has not been initialized. And another condition could be when front pointer is greater than the back pointer. That means the front pointer has crossed the back. Now let us visualize this. So now we have just two elements in the queue. Let us dequeue all of them. At this point, there is only one element in the queue. So now if I dequeue this element, it will first remove the value and as expected, it will then increment the front pointer, right? At this point of time, there is nothing in the queue. That is why it says that the queue is empty and you should either reset it or enqueue more elements. Now if I press dequeue again, it will say that the queue is empty. So those were the two conditions for a queue being empty. So that's it from my side. Next. I would suggest you to try implementing this queue in a programming language. 